That's a good size one right there. We want that one. Got him. Good morning, fishing friends. Welcome to another episode. Why else would I be excited at 412 when it's it, it's one degree? Yo, Pops decided it would be a good day to go out and do some ice fishing. So driving to meet him. Hopefully we've got the 3D experience today. Debo, Dad, and Dizzle out on the ice trying to catch some perch. But uh, enough of me yapping. I'm driving. We'll see you soon. Come on, enough out of the way. Okay. Huh? Sure. Or you can just park down there on the water. So there we were, me and Randall, pulling our sleds. We gotta, we gotta go meet the old man. He's antsy, he's already out there. Got trucks on the ice, ice shanties, snowmobiles whizzing by. Chaos, madness. I heard you got a pretty mouth. All right, we're gonna circle the wagons here. I'm gonna pop some holes. Pop said there's a bunch of fish here. He hasn't, have you caught anything at all or no? Nothing yet, so. Are, are, are we keeping? I am. Okay, where do you want, where are you going? Um, I don't know, let me see where you're going first. I don't know, I was just gonna poke a few holes around. She's deep, boy. All right, it's cold. I'm putting up the hut. I ain't farting around. Thanks, Mr. Heater, heater buddy, keeping me warm. Okay. All right, I did bring my rod case deal in here with me this time. That way I've got access. It's kind of big, it's kind of bulky. I didn't know it was gonna be this big for a guy that only has two rods, kind of overkill, but he keeps everything nice in one spot. I don't have to look for everything. Pretty handy. So, all right, looks like we're starting with waxies. That one's dead. Get out of there. Another one dead. Looks like Mr. Deeds' foot. Stole my daggum wax worm. Jerk. Plenty hot in here now. Good golly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got one. He's not very big, though. First guy of the day, I'd say... Uh, seven inches, maybe. Six and a half, six. Not too bad, good start to the day. At least we're on something here, hasn't taken too long. Just gotta find some of your bigger brothers, get out of here. All right, I say let's drop the camera down and see what all we've got working down here. What you doing down there, fella? Huh? I see ya. Got him. Uh, about the same. That's five. He just a little fart though. All right, I'm gonna try switching over to this little lipless wrap deal last time i had some luck on this actually some it was better size i didn't have as many but maybe we can help kind of cull out some of these little fish because these little guys are just ravaging it over here got him yes better size on the wrap there we go that's what we're looking for man switch right over to that wrap and had a bigger one come in crap now i need a live well hole though Help me, Tom Cruise. Got a keeper. <laughs> Mine's bigger than all of these. Look, y'all got little baby fish in there. Here, I'll get, I'll catch the big ones. Dad and Randy over here lying about the size perch they caught. Oh, we caught some big ones. These things are freaking awesome. Dad showed me these. They're called the Ice Well Live Well. So they've got a website there you can check out. Um, but they're really nice because you literally just put this bucket down in the water and it's like a you know live well down on the ice. You don't have to worry about throwing them on the ice and having to unthaw them when you get home. Swim around in there all nice and fresh and just grab this out, throw it in your bucket in your truck and take them home. So thanks to Pops for showing me that thing. It's pretty sweet. Take my battery back off. Then see all I have to do is drop this in here. They're outside of my hut so I've still got room in there. I can lift up the deal here, throw them in there, boom. Okay, now last time there was nothing down there. There's one little dude there now. Wasn't anything until I dropped this little rip and wrap thing down. Missed that guy. Want the bigger ones. Got him. He's not the big one we're looking for. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh man, that's bigger than I thought. All right, there's another keeper. Cool. All right, that was first drop right back down. It's funny how quick man that bigger wrap they like that thing into the live well he goes 
eight inches about the the minimum I want to try to get bigger than that like these guys are way too small there's another one so that's what eight nine ten 11 I'm at maybe I don't even know I lost count now little dude little dude that's good two for two on the drops and catches just need the bigger ones where are you at I want to catch some some 10 inchers today those are great size to keep and eat that's a good size one right there we want that one looking right at it oh <laughs> he hit the head of it Oh yeah, there's a better size one. Yeah, that's the guy we want. One, two, three, four, five. That's he's a six stripe. Come on, hit it. Let's try one of these little rosy. We got one of these little like pinkish orange minnow deals. I got those things. They're almost like pink, pink orange minnows. Let's see. I don't. I don't know. I've never done it like this with the wrap and the minnow on it. I don't know if this is a thing. Maybe this is dumb. Maybe you're supposed to do this like with the jig head. But oh yeah, oh yeah. Got him. Oh, did I lose him? Dang it. That was a good one. Darn. That minnow bucket is annoying as heck. I just not thought about that. You guys are probably hearing that thinking, what in the hell is going on in Debo's hut? Got that one. Nope, missed him too. Dang it. Oh, darn. Oh, did you see that one? Out of nowhere to fight that other one for it and missed it. And that was another good one. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. It's another keeper. Hey, there we go. Another keeper. We'll keep them for now if we get bigger ones. That's the nice thing about the live well is I can uh, just cull them out if I keep get bigger ones. All right, I'm going to switch up here a little bit. I put a wax worm on front, so I've got the plastic on back, wax worm on front. Let's see, that dude, it seemed like you wanted the uh, the meat, that red worm. How am I all tangled around this? Let's see. They can use that as a you know the meaty target. Of course, little dude comes in right away. Oh, dang, way bigger than he looked on screen. He must have been farther away from the camera. Dang, that one is a chunk. Heck yeah, look at that one. That's a good fish right there. Okay, okay, another keeper. That was right after we got that other one. I like it. Gosh, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A huge school of these little dudes. Oh, look at this guy. Good, 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 good one. Dang, that's a good one there. Oh. That was a better one. That's a better one. We want this one. He's a good size. He's a keeper. Got him. That's got to be a keeper. He looked better. Yes, there we go. Better sized. All right, another keeper. I don't know where I'm at for count. Okay, that dude hit the wax worm too. Interesting, it's giving him that target to hit instead of just the, the naked wrap. Leave my pliers. Okay, going back down. Wasn't recording there. Uh, just missed a good one, like a dummy. Got him. Yeah, biggest one of the day. Yeah, there we go. Mondo. Nice. Biggest one of the day for me. He's over nine. Nice. Randall, you still over here? You want to see what a big one looks like? Here, you want to hold this one? It's a big one. No comment. Okay, I'm cold again. 
Oh my gosh! Did you see that dude out of nowhere? Out of nowhere! That was like Sting from the rafters! It's Sting! Huh? It's Sting! We're out of time! We gotta go! Sting from the rafters! Oh my god! All right, well, we just caught the, the the fish equivalent of Sting. He came in. I didn't even see him. He just bolted in and smashed that. Smashed it. All right. All right. Mean Gene Okerlund. Oh, look at that one. Oh, come on, dude. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. That is a Mondo. Gosh, some of these big ones just don't... Look at that one. Oh, that was a big one. Got him. Oh yeah, another good one. That's a nine incher. Yes, God, he didn't look that big. Look at that one, that's the fattest one I've caught today. Chunko. Heck yes, we will take a day. That's the, probably my biggest one of the day. That dude is fat. Wow. So you looking to get punched in the teeth? Oh, I want punched in your mouth? I just gonna get a little punchy punchy. Where did all these big perch go? I want a big perch. There we go, there we go. Man, that dude came in 90 mile an hour and stopped right before it. Got him. Yeah. Oh, good one. All right, all right. Another nine incher. Yes, yeah, sir. Put a twelve in your bucket. Huh? Put a twelve in your bucket. Dang. All right, there we go. Another solid keeper. That's funny. He came in guns a blazing. All right, close to a nine anyway. He might be just under nine, but nice. Oh, he only had the middle head. Got him. <laughs> I win. Oh, that's another good one. That's another good one. Look at that one. Get your hand in there and lip them like that. You know they're good size. Yes. That is a chunk there. Perfect eating size. How big are you? That's over a nine. Love it. All right. Into the bucket you go, me Marty. That guy hit it three times, hit the head of that minnow three times before we finally got it. I just tried to stay patient, trying to wiggle it so it was looking like it was dying there. Look at this little guy. No, sir. Go away. No. No. Oh man, that little dude walloped it. Seriously? Oh, missed him. Hey, he stole my minnow. Minnow thief. Hey, luck over here, old man? Uh, ever since I lost that walleye. Oh, you had a walleye? Yeah, I lost a big walleye just under the ice. Oh. Huge walleye. How big? I don't know, probably 25 inches. Oh, no crap. Probably, yeah, he's big. Dang. He's big as my hand. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. Right here to the hole, and then his head hit the, hit the uh, ice, and I tried to guide him back. Popped right out. Oh. Right at the very top of the nose. You got a good little live well of them. Yeah, they're all skinnies, but... All right, just seeing if you had any better luck. I've got, I've got probably one close to ten, I'd say. Yeah, I got one that's probably nine and a half. This little turd right here keeps. There we go. There we go. Come on, other big dude, come back. Big perch, come eat it. I'm coming over your way. Come eat the mana. That's the one. That's the one. Eat it. Eat it. 
Got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, is he stuck in my camera? Stuck in the camera, son of a biscuit. He ran straight over into that camera. I'm gonna open my bale, try to hold my bale tension on it and pull up my camera. No clue if this is gonna work or not. Oh, I'm good off, dang it. Popped up on minnow. You're too small, sir. Go back. Now we're getting into the smaller stuff. Man, it started out we had a good average of good sized fish. Now we're getting back into those little barely six inch fish. Oh, pike. Pike, pike, pike. Or is that a musky? Oh, that's a musky. Look at him, that's a musky. Oh, why wouldn't he eat it? Big old musky. Zero, zero interest at all. Dang. How many fish you get? I don't know, take a look. Oh, oh you get better than I did. All right, Pop said it's time to go. I agree, Randizzle just said he got blown in the ditch, so uh, we want to take careful. I'm going to drive. I'll see you home after I get these uh, clean and such. All right, fishing friends, back at home. Got all the perch clean. That's that's all I caught today was perch, 15 perch. Turned out to be a pretty good haul, a pretty good day for uh, fishing for about, I don't know, five hours. We had a storm, so I came home early. But I had a number of people requesting to see a catch and cook. So by golly, that's what we're doing today. We got everything already here. My beautiful, lovely assistant, my old lady is behind the camera. Thank you, honey. So, all right, it's a pretty easy... Uh, So anytime you're breading something, just remember dry, wet, dry. So I already patted all the fillets dry. You want to get all the excess water off. And then I'm going to go into something dry first to make sure my wet, whatever I'm using, this case it's just uh, egg whites, make sure my wet stuff sticks to it. So I'm going to doctor mine up here. I'm going to go a little uh, cayenne to give it a little heat. And I'm a ranch fanatic. I could eat ranch on pretty much anything. So I'm going to hit some of this ranch seasoning in there too. And that's literally just some Hidden Valley dry ranch stuff. It's like a powder. I'm going to throw some of that in the breadcrumbs too. These aren't actually breadcrumbs. These are cornflake crumbs. I used to uh, crush my own, but whenever these are on sale, I just pick them up because it's so much easier. <sighs> Stir this up. Make sure it's incorporated in there. I like to season each, uh, each level and step of this here. So I've got that. I've got my breadcrumbs with the ranch, and then I also like to add some Italian seasoning in there. It's basically like pizza seasoning, so it kind of gives it a pizza Italian-y little kick to it. Some of that in my breadcrumbs, that's going to go in. Now, if you need my hot sauce, oh, and that stinks. We're, uh, we're basically out of hot sauce. That's okay. I like the Franks. Put whatever hot sauce in there you like, but I like to put some of that in my eggs as well. That'll give us a nice orange eggy mixture that's going to have a nice little hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for steps, it's super easy. I like to keep one hand a dry hand and then one hand kind of like my wet hand so you don't get club fingers. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Michelle, you have to clean all this up. You know that, right? I was, I was the man of the day and brought home supper for you. Are you proud of me? And as I said on the video, this is an air fryer recipe. Um, I did this for the first time last time and oh my gosh, the air fryer... I might be a pretentious air fryer guy, but I love it. So that's it. I didn't do a good job of switching hands, but dry, wet, dry. So I'm going into my flour mixture just to dry it all off. That gives us a nice dry, sticky uh, outside here into the wet. And that makes our crumb seasoning stick. Shake off your excess and that's what you're left with. I'm going to fast forward here till it's all done. 
All right, there we go, all done. Got those in the air fryer. Now the only thing that stinks about this is you can't do like big, huge batches. That's what I was talking about, like the, the club finger. Uh. All right, throw this on. I honestly don't remember what I put it on for last time. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Uh, I think like five? What'd I do? Seven and eight. Well, lady says seven. She knows everything. At 390, seven minutes per the old lady. Okay, first side's done. So that was seven minutes on one side. These are pretty small. Perch aren't that big, so I know I should be using tongs. Living on the edge here. What do you think? Another four minutes, maybe? 390? Three minutes? We'll see. Okay, while that's cooking on the second turn here, let's get my sauce ready. So I'm going to throw in some mayo. This is like olive oily. Oh, that's a lot. Whoops. Olive oil mayo. I dig it. Some ranch because, you know, it's, it's light. I'm watching my figure. And then look at this. Mama for the win. She found some hot sauce. Yeah, we'll put some of that in there. Stubby, what do you think about all this? Are you going to eat some hot sauce and, and fish? What do you think? You want to shake on it? Yeah? You're a good boy? Alright, you're a good boy. Hold on, let me wash my hands. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. What do you think, Mama? Oh no, we got her! Alright, moment of truth, fish and friends. Oh, it's not even that burnt. Yeah, it's a little crispy. I'll take it. Yes, nice and crispy. I'd rather have my fish a little bit crispier than soggy. I cannot stand soggy fish or soggy fries. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We ready? Some ASMR stuff here for you guys. Oh, oh, the hot. Temperature hot. Oh, but crunchy. Oh my gosh. Honey, try it. Here we go. Oh man, look at that. There it is. Debo's battered perch. Depot sauce. Y'all want to see it? You got it. Where are you, Would you eat some of this? What a good boy. Hey, how about you sit? Good boy. All right. Except actually on me. <laughs> Shut up. It's hard. Look at that. You're almost professional. Let's try it again. Third time's a charm there, wife. I'm going to have to bleep that out now. This is going in. Yes. <laughs> All right, Fish and Friends, that's going to do it for the day. Today's subscribe Fish and Friend is Bob Davis. Bob, thank you for watching. Hopefully you can attend my live tonight. You'll know what I'm talking about because you'll, you'll see me in this. This vid won't be up till Monday, but hope you... <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> <coughs> I hope you all had fun. Dad, Debo, and Dizzle catching some perch. It was a ton of fun. I hope you all enjoyed the catch and cook in the kitchen. Maybe we can do some more of these. Chef Debo doing some creations and concoctions in the kitchen. I don't know. That's enough for me. I've got to edit and get ready for a live in 20 minutes. So thank you all very much for watching. Until next time.